One of the main appeals of Emerald Elite Redux is the fact Pokemon get to have four abilities at the same time. One main ability that can be changed around for a majority of Pokemon, and three set innates. Since this is one of the big features, there are plenty of new, powerful, fun abilities to use. But there are certainly some that push abilities to their limits and create very powerful Pokemon. I will be going over 10 of the best new ones and how powerful they can be. In the main games, there are tons of abilities that set up weather effects like Drought or Drizzle, and moves like Grassy Surge and Misty Surge that set up terrain on entry. These are powerful effects and entire teams can be built around just one of these effects and can last quite a while. But one of the best effects in all of Pokemon, Tailwind, doesn't have an ability like that. That's why Air Blower is such a great ability. Tailwind is so powerful, doubling the speed of your team and can make a ton of Pokemon viable, but having to risk a turn to set it up, and it doesn't last. Air Blower negates the risk by just sending the Pokemon out, it benefits your entire team greatly. Powerful Pokemon that get access to this ability include Yveltal, Lugia, Rayquaza, and Tornadus. It's an ability that can really change the tide of a game. Giving these Pokemon double the speed will instantly make them a threat. Even weaker Pokemon like Noctowl become very good with this ability. When you think of good Pokemon, nobody has ever thought of Kecleon. Unless they're talking about this game's version, because it's one of the best Pokemon in these games. All thanks to its broken color change ability. Now I know this ability is in the main games, but it has been buffed significantly. Instead of changing Kecleon into the type it was last hit by, it will now change its type before it's hit. Not into the type it's about to be hit by, but into a type that resists or is immune to the incoming attack. You can see how unbelievably broken this is. Some Pokemon are simply just walled out and have no chance to stop it. Kecleon has decent bulk now and is able to KO Pokemon before they can even make a dent. It can be stopped, however, with abilities that negate immunities like Scrappy. It's still a very good ability. Kecleon is not the only one that gets this, though. A new ability in this game is the opposite to one of the best abilities of all time, Intimidate. Scare will lower the special attack of an opponent on entry. This, however, isn't inherently broken. The broken ability comes from Mega Haxorus's signature, Fearmonger, which combines both Intimidate and Scare, allowing it to hinder both sides and this is especially useful in double battles. But there is more to Fearmonger to make it even more overpowered. It grants a 10% chance to paralyze on all contact moves. Fearmonger makes Mega Haxorus one of the strongest new Mega Evolutions, both offensively and defensively. With its incredible power, the last thing you want is to be weakened before fighting it. In a game with such hyper-aggression with offense, there needs to be strong defensive abilities. One of the best ones in my opinion is Lead Coat. Lead Coat boosts your defense by 40% but lowers your speed by 10%. Lead Coat is exclusive to Steel type Pokemon who don't necessarily rely on speed anyway, but a majority have high defense, so a 40% increase will make them extremely tanky. Really strong Pokemon get access to this like Mega Agron, Mega Steelix, Dialga, and Celesteela. Stack Attack gets this as well and has one of the highest defensive stats of any non Mega, so it can even hold an item still. Most of these Pokemon get Body Press as well, so Lead Coat just makes that power go crazy. The added benefit of the speed being lowered is how well these Pokemon operate in Trick Room, making them even deadlier. Another powerful strategy that is difficult to pull off in singles is Trick Room. It doesn't last long enough and needs a turn to set up just like Tailwind. It needed an ability like Air Blower to take full advantage of the strategy, which is how we got the ability Twisted Dimension. Twisted Dimension will set up a 3 turn Trick Room instantly and make some super strong Pokemon viable. Hatterini, Spiritomb, Reuniclus, and Slowking are very slow Pokemon that get access to this ability and are just immediate threats, especially since Slowking's Mega Evolution has a base speed of 20. Not to mention so many Pokemon and teams in this game rely on outspeeding to win. The other great part about Trick Room Pokemon is they don't need to invest any EVs into speed or natures and can just lean fully into power and defense. They just become too powerful to stop at times. Secondary effects can swing a battle instantly. Burns, flinches, and parahacks will derail an entire game plan, so getting additional chances for this to happen is always going to be valuable. This is just one of the reasons multi-headed is a top tier ability. Multi-headed is an upgraded version of hyper aggressive where moves hit for each head a Pokemon has. Pokemon with this ability include Dugtrio, Doduo, Hydreigon, Mawile, and Mega Magnezone. 
A fast Pokemon like Dugtrio can be super broken with moves like Iron Head. Three chances to get flinched is just asking to be knocked out. It's also super useful for taking out Focus Sash or sturdy Pokemon. Very powerful Pokemon like Hydreigon, hitting you three times is always a dangerous situation. You often find yourself breathing a sigh of relief as you barely survive an attack, only for the second and third hit to come at you and ruin your entire life. The only downside to this ability is the potential chip damage from Rocky Helmet or Rough Skin. One of the most important types of moves to have in Emerald Redux are priority moves, especially with Pokemon being able to set up Tailwind and Trick Room with ease. Pokemon are also very fast, so getting to hit them before they can move is huge, while Queenly Majesty completely shuts down priority moves. There are some really fast and powerful attackers with this ability that you would really like to take out, especially if they used a Focus Sash to set up. All you need is one hit to take them out, and if you can't outspeed them, it's game over. Pokemon like Gardevoir, Meloetta, and Salazzle. There have been plenty of times where these Pokemon have destroyed me because they shut down my last chance at stopping them. Hyper Beam and Giga Impact are extremely powerful moves, but in most cases, they're really bad to use as they need a recharge turn after use. This is obviously really bad as nobody wants to give up a turn, but the ability Rampage brings back the old Generation 1 mechanic where if you get a knockout with one of these moves, you won't need to recharge afterwards. This can let Pokemon blow through teams launching such powerful attacks with no drawback. It's been distributed very well to Pokemon like Surfetched, whose signature move Meteor Assault has to recharge, or Necrozma and its signature move Prismatic Laser. Other strong Pokemon like Dragonite, Salamence, and Rayquaza get this, making them super scary to run into. Sticky Web is one of the greatest moves in competitive Pokemon. Slowing down your opponent's Pokemon at entry has massive benefits and can shut down certain Pokemon completely. The problem is the list of Pokemon that can use it are not good and most can't even get the move off. This is why Spider's Lair is such a powerful ability. Setting up Sticky Web on entry. Just simply having these Pokemon in your team can improve it greatly. Some good Pokemon get access to it like Araquanid, Galvantula, Ariados, and Niag and um, this one. The only downside is it will disappear after 5 turns unlike Sticky Web, but the damage may have already been done at that point. Speed control is just so important, and any ability that can take control so easily is one you definitely want to use. Stab, or same type attack bonus, is the 50% bonus to moves that are the same type as the Pokemon using it. This makes it almost mandatory for a Pokemon to run at least one move that is the same type as their type, as using moves other than that can lack the power that's needed. Mystic Power is an ability that erases this problem as all their moves gain the stab bonus. An ability that powers up a majority of move pools is crazy useful, especially for the Pokemon that get it. Alakazam, Arceus, Mewtwo, Mega Gyarados Y, Latios, and Cresselia. They all have very diverse move pools with strong moves that would love to take advantage of this. You could run so many viable sets that would cover every type combination. Most of these Pokemon are sweepers too, so Pokemon that could normally get in their way would be taking more damage than usual. There are many more crazy strong abilities in this game, and remember, Pokemon have three others that go with this, so the power just stacks and stacks. That's part of what makes Emerald Elite Redux so fun, being able to play around with all these fun abilities. If I missed any broken abilities, let me know. This is the first video I've done not covering a specific Pokemon, so leave a like to let me know if you enjoyed it. Check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.